Thank you for having me. Um, I have a couple photos from the time that I spent in the field that I'll play behind me. So it gives you a little bit of an idea of the magic that I see in some of these animals. Uh, I grew up watching more elephant documentaries than I can remember. And my parents actually uh, can recall saying, you know, don't you want to watch cartoons? I said, no, I want to learn more about elephants. That's what I want to do. Uh, that's been translated into this continuing passion for elephants. I don't know what it is about them. It's so hard for me to explain. They're huge, they're beautiful, and they're intelligent and emotional. And to me, that is just so inspiring. So I got to spend the last two summers of my college career at a remote water hole in Atasha National Park, Namibia, studying the social lives of, these, of this population of elephants. Uh, I got to be schooled in the ways of uh, everything ranging from the subtle body language of bull elephants to things like this, uh, a tender caress by a mother to her calf that is very reminiscent of things that I see in uh, humans. Elephants pr face unprecedented threats today. In today's world, Africa is pretty much a battleground right now for them. Uh, there, we are currently at a population of around 472,000 elephants. That might sound like a lot, but compared to the five million elephants that roamed Africa just 60 years ago, it's a paltry sum. They are suffering at the hands of illegal hunting uh, to fuel an ivory trade that has been spurred into action again by a rising demand for carved ivory products, primarily in East Asia, uh, significantly China, uh, where ivory serves as a status of wealth and, um, and high status. So I am so, so incredibly heartbroken over this because I've gotten to know these elephants. Uh, all elephants, to me, are, are this one big family. And, to lose any one of them is a tragedy because they have so much left to teach us. And so I drew on that inspiration when I performed this piece and I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that today your eyes shine for the elephants. <laughs> found myself the pupil of giants, schooled in the ancient rituals, embedded in the subtle waving of ears, the tender twistings of trunks, the gazes cast warningly over shoulders, and the thunderous mayhem of family reunions. I found rhythms in their rumbles that I didn't know existed, forming words in a language that I will never fully understand. Let them bounce along my ear canals, feel my sternum shudder under the impact of vibrations that hit the ground with the force of small bombs. They're booming. I close my eyes, let the power of this foreign music wash over me, sway with a smile as I hum along with them. Let's go, they say, with slow footfalls of padded feet. Then they're gone, drifting like gray ships into oceans of brush. I held tight to these moments when I read the headline, 35,000 a year, written over a photo of ochre-stained carcasses, their skin stretched tight like old parchment around bullet holes, dismembered trunks tossed carelessly to the side in widening pools of crimson. Tusks gone, only gristle left buzz of flies, their eulogy. Their havens are now battlegrounds, molded by the flexing fingers of ivory hunger, reaching from Shanghai showrooms to the savannas of Africa, closing around the triggers on automatic rifles in the hands of men following white gold promises. 35,000 mothers, fathers, sons, and daughters, 35,000 giants reduced to pairs of teeth, hacked from still warm faces at the cost of histories and wisdom no longer passed on in the caresses of trunks, the waves of ears, or the rhythms of rumbles, but stacked in dusty warehouses as hollow tusks like old scrolls sealed shut with bloodstains. They're rattling, telling stories that end too soon shipped off to assembly line factories to be carved down to chopsticks, mantelpieces, ornaments, seals, Buddhas, and figures of Jesus, polished to perfection. Divinity 
and ivory, only the best quality. It's said that elephants mourn their dead, stand in solace, holding jawbones close against chests, carefully grasping sun-baked tusks, remembering. But now there are more bones than can be mourned for, guns outpacing grief. Fifteen years until only elephant ghosts remain. Their rumbles, distant echoes in quiet forests, haunting reminders that we failed them. Thank you. And please remember, never buy any ivory products. It all comes from an elephant. Thank you very much. <laughs>